is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. What are you doing, Jimmy? I want to be a hero in my school. But why are you running? You want to become a hero by running? Yes, there's a race in the school. If I come first, I would become hero. That's a good plan. But my heart is beating so fast. Is something wrong with my heart? Let me check. You know, your heart is on the left side of your body. By this cup, I can listen to your heartbeat. Is it all right? Yeah, it's very much okay. It is beating faster. You know, when you are relaxing, your heart beats 70 times in a minute. But when you're running or exercise, it beats at double speed. Oh, that means 140 times in a minute. Heartbeats normal, 70 times a minute. Running, 140 times a minute. Now, you know why your heart beats faster when you run? But why does it beat faster? You see this car, how does it run? Oh, it needs gasoline or petrol to run. You are right. Your body also needs some gasoline or petrol to move. For a body, this petrol or gasoline is oxygen. The body needs more oxygen when you exercise or run. Do you know your body gets oxygen from your heart? But how does the heart supply oxygen to your body? I thought it comes from lungs. You are right. Oxygen comes from lungs. But to reach to your body, it gets all mixed up with blood. And when oxygen is mixed in blood, the heart supplies blood to all parts of the body. Correct. Your heart is like a pump, which pumps blood into your body. Can I know more about the heart? OK. See this hand pump? Like it pulls water from the ground and supplies to us. The heart has two pumps like this. One pump supplies the blood, which has oxygen to your body. The other pump takes it back after it has given oxygen from the body. When blood comes back to your heart, it is full of carbon dioxide. The heart sends it to the lungs, which cleans and fills it with oxygen. Lungs send oxygen fresh blood to your heart, from where it again goes back to all your body parts. So the heart sends dirty oxygen, poor blood to your lungs, which takes away carbon dioxide and adds oxygen to it. That's why it is called circulatory system, because it moves in a circle. You are right. Oxygen reaches to your lungs through your nose. From there, it goes to your heart. In your heart, it's mixed in blood. From there, it reaches to all the body with blood. Okay, let me show you a picture. Now, let us see blood flow through your system in your body. What are these red and blue pipes in the human body? These are called arteries and veins. Red color lines are arteries. These take the blood from your heart to the body. These blue color lines are veins which bring blood back to your heart. Arteries take blood away. Veins bring blood back. Can you tell me more about the heart? Yes, can you make a punch of your hand? Here it is. A human heart is equal to the size of a fist. See this apple? I love apples. The weight of a human heart is about 300 grams, about an apple. I am wondering how much blood is there in our body? See here, see these five one liter bottles? We have five liters of blood in our body. What is this half filled bottle? This bottle is having half a liter liquid. When we donate blood, we only give half a liter. Yes, my big brother donated once. This way we save lives of others. Jenny, can you show me what happens inside the heart? Here we go. See here, the heart is made of four chambers. These are the right atrium, left atrium, and right ventricle, and left ventricle. What happens in the left and right parts of the heart, right? Left side receives oxygen poor blood from the body and then sends it to the lungs to get mixed with oxygen. 
Okay, then lungs send oxygen-rich blood to the right side of the heart. Correct. Then, from the right side, this oxygen-rich blood goes to the whole body. Heart has four chambers and four valves. When these valves open and close, we hear the heartbeat. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children. 